Hello welcome everyone, my name is Fathom and welcome to another Corex video. Today we're gonna take a look on the newest map that just came out today. It's called Mandela Park and I'm not really sure what map it is because I didn't look at it yet. And also, sorry for not making any videos anytime uh, in the past two days, I've just been super busy and really had no time at all. So let's get to the map. Let's select the car that will suit the update. There we go. Oh. Fuck. They... They broke the, the tunes again. God damn it. Alright, so we need to select another car. And the car that we're gonna select is... I'm not really sure which one. I'm just gonna go for it. Never mind, because this is broken as well. You know what? I'm gonna go for the R34 if I can even find it. Where is the R34? There it is. Beautiful as always. Okay, Mand Mondelo Park. It looks like there are uh, they are changing fonts too, but they're changing fonts to a more thin font. Uh, but you can, as you can see, not every font has changed yet. So, Mondo. This is kind of interesting to be honest, and let's buy it. I'm. It looks like it's another racetrack like Sun Plaza, but we can judge it before we can get to it. So this is the map. First of all, let's uh, let's do the. Never mind. Only available on the track. Uh, yeah, I believe the Kino mod doesn't really work in this version yet. Hmm. So, let us follow the main course and let's see how it uh, plays out. Alrighty, a mad reverse entry to start the day. Seems pretty good. Yeah, there, there is a split that I was not ready for. I thought it was uh, bigger. Yeah, the track feels very tiny. Almost like a go-kart track. Dang. Yeah, this track is tiny. I'm pretty sure most of the people that are going to be playing on this track are not going to be new players. I'm pretty sure most of the players you'll find on this track will be pros and pro tandeming teams because this is a pretty tandem-ish map to be honest. Especially with those big sweeper turns. But those long straights are not the best for drifting. And this long sweeper turn is also not the best. I'm not sure how this track will benefit the game, but uh, it's basically up to the time because this is my first ever time playing this. This seems like a nice place to do some reverse entry in 360s. Yeah, misjudged that. here. This is a nice turn. I'm pretty sure there will be some trains on this sweeper turn right here. There is a turn there. Alright, and now I don't know where to go. Alright, so let's just freely explore this map. This map looks like it could be a good map for hide and seek game modes with some places that are pretty neatly hidden. Alright. Let's try to get into the zone to the right. Let's try to get up the track, shall we? Looks like we can get here, which is pretty neat. Okay, yes. 
yes, thank you. Thank you, Carax Technologies, for listening to us and giving us a whole new section for doing hide and seek games. Oh, yes, this is gonna be awesome. I can already see a few hiding spots that are going to be used. Oh, yes, these are. If these bays were empty, those would be very good. Yeah, yeah, there are some pretty good hiding spots right here. Especially for the people that like to hide in between the AI uh, cars. Let's see if anything is going on here. There's this big ass sweep. Okay, this can be a pretty good place to hide over here. Oh yes. Oh yes, this is a pretty good one. Alright, so, this map looks like it has a lot of potential. Uh, this map also looks like a good map for doing some hide-and-seek games. And some nice tandems, but not really any tandems for long or some chains. More like a single turn tandems and single turn or we could actually possibly go over here because this is like the other part of the track oh yes oh yes oh yes this feels amazing okay okay i f yeah this track is very good i can already see the tandems on this track There are plenty of hiding spots, especially with the vegetation to the right. As you see, this is a big open area over here. And if people can get the... Which my car currently can't. Um, it would be a pretty good hiding spot. If... It's not an invisible wall, which it isn't. I just hit a sign, that's all. And I have literally zero traction on this. Oh, right, that's some RB26 ASMR for you. And looks like you can get out of the map without doing many glitching. Never mind, because there's an invisible wall on the way. So, that will be it for today's video. It's just another map review, nothing really too exciting. All the tunes are kind of broken now, and I will make a tune fix video tomorrow. So, thank you guys for watching, remember to have a good one, remember to subscribe and like for more daily content and see you guys in the next one. Cheers!